नमस्ते नमस्ते हु डू यू वॉन्ट टू मीट माई नेम इज नीतु कुमारी एंड आई एम अ कैंडिडेट फॉर द एम पी ऑफ दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी ओ ओके आई हैव हर्ड ऑफ यू बिफोर प्लीज कम इन साइड टेक अ सीट थैंक यू मे आई नो हाउ मेनी पीपल आर देअर इन योर फैमिली ओ इट्स जस्ट मी एंड माई पेरेंट्स द रीजन आई हैव कम हेयर is to ask you to vote for me sure why not but if you don't mind i have some queries about you about me uh, i am the mp of this area everyone here knows me very well yes i know that but it is our duty as a responsible citizen to elect the correct person for our country so i just basically want to know um about what you are going to do for the people if you win this election well look if you elect me then no none of you are going to face any problem at all i can assure you that you will all get enough money each month and we have also thought of building a statue um it is going to be the biggest statue in the entire district and also we will give you guys money to paint your houses You know we want all the houses to be painted with the same color. I think it will look very classy. Hmm, I see. But you didn't mention anything about improving the conditions of our schools and hospitals, you know? Okay, okay. I'll do everything. But for now, keep this 5000 rupees. Ma'am, what's this? What will I do with 5000 rupees? my family won't run for 5 whole years with this money sorry ma'am i cannot take it don't worry you will all get more after i win look ma'am we are all educated people here we have studied a lot to come here we don't want any money like this we want jobs we want employment opportunities let me win this elections i'll do everything promise Ma'am, you had made the exact same promise five years ago when we elected you, but we didn't even see you in these five whole years. Will you take the money or not? Sorry, ma'am, but I don't think I'll sell my vote for a bunch of rupees. Well, it was nice meeting you. I'll think about what you said and consider my decision. And thank you for coming. Bye. ओके बाय देन नमस्ते ओ नमस्ते आई एम नेहा मिश्रा आई लिव इन दिस कॉलोनी यस मैम आई नो यू आर एंड यू अ प्रोफेसर इन वुमेन्स कॉलेज ओह यस आई टीच पॉलिटिकल साइंस आई हैव हर्ड अ लॉट अबाउट यू यू हैव हेल्प्ड सो मेनी पोर स्टूडेंट्स बाय टीचिंग देम फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट Well, I try my best to help the society in any way possible. It feels so nice talking to you. Actually, I have been chosen as a candidate from this constituency in this year's election. So, I know that whom you will vote is based on your choice, but I want you to take the correct decision while voting. Obviously, We all want helpful honest people like you to have power for the betterment of the people. My main goal is to improve the education and the health facilities of this area. I personally think there is a lack of good schools and colleges and other public facilities. So I'll try my best to improve them. and also i think it is important to look at the employment sector and create more jobs so that educated people do not remain unemployed in their homes each one of your words are so important do not worry we are all by your side if i have you all by my side then i'll surely be able to do something for the society of course not only me but you will have all the educated youth of our country by your side if we choose efficiently then i think we will be able to elect the correct person for our country thank you so much 
I definitely agree with you. Stay safe. Bye. You're welcome, ma'am. Bye. Have a nice day. So, this was today's conversation. The message that I want to share with you all is that this is the election season, you know. Uh, the elections are coming. And over here, we all need to know that we are the people who have the most power in these elections because we live in a democratic country and we have the power to choose our leader. So it is upon you to decide whom will you choose. To make India a corruption-free country, we must know how to send the correct person to the parliament. And that choice is entirely yours to make. We all can make our India a corruption-free country by choosing the right person. So this is what today's conversation was all about. And now I think you're ready for today's question. So the question of this conversation is, how much money did the first candidate offer to the voter? Make sure to answer this question in the comment box below. I'd eagerly be waiting for your comments. If you like this video, click on the like button, share it with your friends and family, subscribe for more such daily life conversations. That's it for today. Meet you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.